made that coin cell, what we do is uh, we begin testing it. The coin cell gets put in a little cartridge like this and plugged into the machine uh, down here. And uh, we have a big controller device uh, over here that controls the amount of current and voltage uh, that goes through each one of the batteries and enables us to measure how the battery performs over time. So we can test uh, it being charged at different rates and discharged at different rates. We can test different types of voltage ranges and all of that tells us how the battery material performs. We make different kinds of lithium-ion battery cells, some of them with our cathode material, some of them with benchmark cathode material, so we can compare to industry standards. And we also make them with different anodes, some of them with graphite, some of them with Lithium, and some of them with a uh, lithium titanium oxide. There are many different kinds of lithium ion batteries, and the platform we have here allows us to basically test all these different things. I see. Do you have the ability to then essentially simulate the battery demands of an end device like a power tool? Yes, so we, we test a full range of different rates of discharge and discharge. Obviously, a power tool, you're going to fully discharge that battery in a matter of five or ten minutes. So we can discharge our batteries in five or ten minutes. Sometimes we discharge them in over a period of ten hours, a very, very slow rate, what you might expect in your cell phone on average. So we test the, really the full range of different uh, rates and capabilities of different